all of these rules. It's a bullseye! It's got that lovely Sunday tea time. Just had your dinner, your mum's cut your hair. Art to art's on in a bit, we've got to go to bed. It has that feel about it. Bullseye was possibly the finest game show, certainly about darts, that had ever been made. Kids loved it, mums and dads loved it. What more can you ask? Good evening. And welcome to another edition of Bullseye. We've got a great audience in here tonight because we know the Bullseye fans because I'm going to ask them a question. What can you not beat at weekends? You can't beat a bit of <laughs> <laughs> Let's get on with the game. Let's meet our people tonight. Bullseye had it all. Fabulous prizes, contestants pushing themselves to the limits, well, playing darts, and it was certainly bizarre. And it had a host with his own unique style. You play football? Yeah, I used to play a bit of football, yeah. Did you play so, in defence? Uh, left back, yeah. Yeah, because right, well, I'd have thought being in, in revenue, you'd have, you'd have been into attacks. <laughs> <laughs> he had a great deal to do, and I must say, he didn't do it that well, and he admits it, does Jim. Now, come on, you've got to help me out, audience here. You've got to help me out here. Gracious me. I was all over the place forgetting my lines. Here's your question for £30. No, £50. Can I go again? It's amazing how the, the image of golf has altered over the last five years, isn't it? The golf? Uh, the, the darts, I should say. <laughs> he wasn't as slick as Forsyth or Monkhouse, but Jim soon became a favourite with the British public. You were grand, aren't you? No, I'm ten. I know you're ten. I'm only testing. <laughs> 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 He was just kind of working man and, oh, my heck, I've ended up on the telly, smashing. I love that. Jim was all over the shop and everyone loved him for it. I think he even says himself that he was... Was that the word he used? Crap? It wasn't crap, it was great. Jim and the show were so popular that every series over 12,000 people applied to go on it. And for the lucky couple who won through, there was a chance of a lifetime. We're going to show you Bully's prize board now. Dark board with a difference, isn't it? You'll, you'll never forget this for the rest of your lives. The best thing about when they got to the board was the shouting, the in one, in two. That's actually hurt my throat. <gasps> Terry Green, the legend. In one. If music's the food of love, you'll make a meal out of this music centre. In two. Something good to waltz off with, an anniversary clock. Oh, rubbish prizes. In four. It's an open and shut case. Well, cases, in fact. It's a set of luggage. In five. For high style elevenses, this gold cafetiere and coffee set. We used to cry. We said, what are we doing giving these people a cafetiere? And Greeny's saying, what's a cafetiere? I thought, I didn't know what it was. I thought it was a lunchbox. Despite the lure of the carriage clocks and cafetieres, there was one prize that every contestant wanted. This is Bendy Boy, and he, he bends. You can put him in all sorts of positions. Some of them become quite disgraceful as we learn to use him. I quite like Bully as a prize. You know, it does the job. You can't buy them in the shops. You can show off to all your neighbours, look, we've been on Bullseye, there's the proof. You can't make one yourself, not one up yourself. I think that's the perfect prize, really. Now, you would have thought that that would have offended our contestant. In fact, they prized it more than the prizes they won. I know what you're thinking. We're coming to the end of the piece on Bullseye and now we do the speedboat gag. Well, it was amusing that Brian and Gail from Dudley won a high-powered cruiser. But there was a reason that so many contestants walked away with the most famous prize in game show history. The show's producer, Peter Harris, had struck up a deal with a speedboat manufacturer. If he could get rid of three speedboats on the show, he'd get them at a reduced price which was good for him because he had more money to spend on the cafetiers and the chip cups and everything he was giving away. So behind the curtain there was not one, but two prizes. Because if it was a win, it was going to be the speedboat. We had to get rid of them, so we got them at bargain price. And if they lost, it was the car. 19. 7. Yeah! yeah sure. So whenever a star prize was won, although the car was ready, you could guarantee the star prize hits the speedboat, and of course that has lived on, even to this day.